ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all you beautiful, valid people out there. Uh, we are back with Doki Doki and what seems to be probably like a, what's going to be the worst episode or two of my life. Because we're, I, Ian is here and he's excited as hell. The end, I think. Ian is so fucking excited, you guys have no idea. I am, I am so energetic, I swear I'm excited. It's terrifying me, to be honest, because he only gets like this whenever I'm about to go through some pain. I am, I am sopping with ex excitement. I didn't like you saying that. <laughs> Do you say fucking sopping? I said this. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're what's wrong with the human race, you know that? Yeah. Alright, so let's write some poems. <laughs> Papa. Hop. Fluffy. Uh. Hmm. Ocean. Also, oh, look at the, the count in the top right corner. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh. Puppy. Glitch thing. Oh, yeah, there it goes again. Yep. That looks about right. Socks. Kawaii. It doesn't even matter. Just click random ones. I don't care. What do you mean you don't care? Because look what happens. It doesn't matter. We gotta pick the one that's, that's, that's for whatever person you're going for. It doesn't matter anymore. Oh, God. No. Uh. Oh, oh my gosh, that was great. That fucking Everything sound fine. thing. I'm sorry, <laughs> I, I know that was fucked, like, mentally, and I hated it, but, like, the sound thing was great in my right ear. I was like... Like, that was such good. Sorry, I'm not... I'm just, I'm just a very sound-oriented person, so great sound design is my favorite thing. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, no, it's fair. Hi, Jay. Oh, I did not mean to click that. I've been waiting for you. Okay, you creep. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica. I, I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really Is she really late again? And consider it as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. Excuse me, princess. <laughs> Please don't do that. Please stop. You want to talk to me about my bit? How many times have you said that? Like three times. Today, it's been three times, yes. That was the first time I said that today. What are you talking no, about? No, you said that earlier today. I promise you I didn't say that. I it promise you you said it earlier today. Go in Editing, let me know, because I, I promise you I didn't. I will. Okay. You'll get fucked. Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look. I did something did something about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So... Natsuki. Nobody cares. Why don't you go looking for some coins out of the fun vending machine or something? Oh, mm. shit. That's real. That's canon. Oh, 100%. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Y yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Oh god, I'm just flashbacks again. I know that's the second time I've said this in this series, but holy shit. Anytime determination or despair happens, my brain just instantly goes to certain things. Anyway, starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe that determination 
It's Undertale. But I guess passion. <laughs> Motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Jay. What's up, bitch? What, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans. Oh, shit. Huh. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Jay's already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've gotten him into literature, Monica? No, aren't you glad that I got him into literature, Monica? I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Uh-oh. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes, um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. There's one thing that can make my to make my reading time have here any better. It's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. To the closet, you say? I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She looks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. Simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contracts her speaking manner as she, yeah, she's, she's losing her mind right now. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and I thought, oh shit, it's the opposite. She like, in the way that she's been speaking and stuff lately, she's kind of going crazy. Hmm. Okay. May, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. Won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri Yuri's out of the classroom. Uh. Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ellipses. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up. Oh, God, no. Not again. No. This thing, this game wouldn't do that to me twice in a row, would it? Would it? Right, like, the t character's gone for an unusual amount of time. You go and find them, and they're dead. Uh, yeah, that couldn't happen. I'm just overreacting because this game is really fucking me up. You're definitely overreacting. Everything's fine. Something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Oh god, let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Hmm, I wonder how big the water fountain is. Ha! 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 What's that noise? I'm not sure who that was, but it was somebody. Me neither. I'm assuming Yuri, though, right? I don't know. Coming from around the corner. Sounds like breathing. Yeah. Sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. They in pain? Reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh god! What? They did it again. Nothing happened. What about her arm? She's got long sleeves that you can't see her arm. <laughs> the fuck do you mean, I? <laughs> yeah, long sleeves. There's clearly gashes over all over it. Yeah, but she's got long sleeves, so I don't know. I don't see the gashes. There Those aren't long there. sleeves. She pulled yeah. up her, her fucking... Sh well, yeah, they have long sleeves. They're the worst. Yeah. Uh, wait, what, wait, what the fuck? I'm not touching anything. I thought that was trigger fingering. I'm back. It rewinded. Because a lot of those were, were like, hit history. Oh, wait. See? All that was erased. Thing. Holy shit. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Jay, do you like oolong tea? Ah, uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Have you ever have you ever had oolong tea, Jay? Sounds interesting. I like tea, I think. It's, it's like a cross between a green and a black tea. It's like it's like more caffeine than green, but less than black. Is it good? Um, I mean... Yeah, I'm a big fan of straight black tea, but I also like green tea, so I like long tea, but I, I'm a big fan of black tea. I'll try it. At big some black point. tea. I'll have to try all of these teas. 
I tried to do a tea tasting day with some friends one day, and we got through like four different kinds of tea, and then we're all like, oh, I can't drink any more tea. I love tea, but like we had four cups of tea. We should do do a day where we wait, like whenever I come up there, where we just live get, stream live stream of tea testing for like two minutes, then we do something else, <laughs> and then we'll we'll do an IRL stream. We'll go run around all over to yeah. fucking Ann Arbor, destroy everything. I was watching I was watching Thalion uh, stream um, Pokemon today. And he, he was like, someday I want to do a stream where I go to Walmart and buy every kind of soda I can find and then just do a blind test tasting and see if I can figure out which is which. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do that to me, Ian. Please. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably win it. I'm, uh, I shouldn't because, like, I'm a horrible person and I'm going to get diabetes <laughs> before I hit 30. But, but you can't do that to me. I thought that was a brilliant idea, though. Credit to Thalion, of course. Yes, of course. So we, we would give <laughs> Thalion all of the fucking, like, reference that he needed. But we'd still Thalion take will, the idea anyway. We'll start the challenge. Thalion will tag us, and then we'll tag somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> bring back tag challenges. Like, come on, bring back tags. Tags are great. We're going to have to make our own ice bucket challenge. Oh, my God. I did the ice bucket challenge back in the day. I didn't have a bucket. Plus, I was like... Uh, Ten. God, what did I use? I was it was outside in New Hampshire in the middle of the winter. Oh God, <laughs> that's horrifying. It, it was awful. I recorded it, but I don't know what happened to the recording. Why would you do this? Fortunately, I know I lost the recording. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I did it. Oh, you can Lord. ask. You can ask uh, my step siblings. I'm so proud. I'll have to talk to them whenever I get up there and ask them how much money you're paying them to act like well, they like you. They um, live in New Hampshire, so. Oh, well, then we're going to have to go <laughs> to New Hampshire, I guess. I agree. We're going to New Hampshire? Sure, let's go. Right now. All right, I mean, sorry, Doki Doki, you're going to have to wait. <laughs> the keys. Are there some keys? Car. The keys right are so now. loud. How many keys are on that? Oh, ow, 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 my ears. Got a lot of keys. I heard a lot of keys. I heard like 18 keys hitting each other all at the same time. Okay, anyways. Very well. <laughs> Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. The teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. Shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? Hoo, hoo, hoo. In that case, you'll only be even more to prep. Depressed? Impressed. Why do I keep saying depressed whenever it's impressed? <laughs> Maybe I'm just... I think, I think I'm just imprinting the way that I feel on the, on the character. I'm just depressed. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Uh, perhaps I will. <laughs> Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. Must mm -hmm. be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you notice? I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little more. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. Well, it's you who's around anyway. Ah, uh, That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Jay. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know... I don't even know if I can keep up with this. Watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for, for each of us. <laughs> Listen here, buddy. Mm, nothing happened. It's fine. Listen here, buddy. Nothing happened. You want to talk about it? No. Nothing happened. There's nothing to talk about. <laughs> Jay, I have another question. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. So you guys are these things hurting your back, huh? Sorry. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain regu fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Me too. Is that so? wonder why that is. I wonder why that is. <laughs> it's most likely because my, uh, uh, my, 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 uh, your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book yep. from my bag. Oh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a big bag when of small chocolate younger, candies. When I was younger, I used to exclusively sleep, like, in a ball. Yeah. <laughs> so that really messed up my back. 
over the years. Um, so yeah, now I have back issues. I used to sleep on the floor a lot, so uh, I think that's part of my back issues. Plus, I sit in chairs. You know how you, you sit in a chair and you sit down regularly? Well, my feet always come up. Like, my knees are always up to, like, my chin whenever oh, I'm sitting God. in a chair. Oh, no. Oh, no. That sounded like even more keys. No, that was papers on the ground being crushed by the wheels of my chair. What's the difference? They're both very annoying jingly type. No, there's no jingle in a fucking paper. <laughs> It's a bag of okay, small chocolate candies. Take it since we'll, we'll, it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same picture, uh, posi same reading position as last time. You told him one half of the book, except this time, our bodies are even closer to, to each other. Wink, wink. I can't see too well. Huh? Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Here he hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hands that's not holding the book, and I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't actually touch her chest. Oh no! The thing causing her back pain. Meanwhile, Yuri wasn't not noticed a sing hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I used all my willpower to focus on reading. Ellipses. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. Put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. Briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Eh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. Didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Look at how anime this is. Yeah, it's an anime-themed dating sim. No, but, like, you can just see it more whenever it does, like, these, it, like, really big focus. I mean, in. part of it is the particle effects. Exactly! <laughs> the particles. Her ear does look kind of weird, though. But ears in general look kind of weird. Her ear does look kind of, like, very far from her head, doesn't it? A, far from her head? Now, it kind of looks like... I don't know. It looks like a different shade from the rest of her. Kind of. Like it looks like that's going along with the blush, but who puts blush on their uh, on their ears? You know. Or it's shading, Jay. But who does that? Who <laughs> who does shading? Yuri opens the back book with both hands. <laughs> she holds it so I don't have to have, have have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. That means I can't stop here. I apprehensively take the chocolate and, and I place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly... Oh, shit. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Jay... So, sorry. I, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh-uh. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I, I can't... Jay. Suddenly, Yuri forcibly grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. The teeth cut gets knocked over. Jay. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Joe. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Jay? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. <laughs> Ian. What? Ian. What? Ian. I don't like it. Huh. What's wrong? It's just a close up of Yuri. Look at her eyes! Huh. Her eyes look fine. They look like normal eyes. Huh. Um, that was horrifying. It's time to share poems. Ooh, I didn't like that. <laughs> nice. It's fine. Ellipses. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. 
You still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. Is she gonna yell at me again? I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean... <sighs> I know I'm not president or vice president or anything. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean you can't let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's something I've been worried about. Yuri's been acting kind of strange lately. I've only been this here two days. Poem. So you may not know what I mean, but she, yeah, she doesn't want to speak this out loud with Yuri in the room. Yep. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attractive. Uh, attractive, attractive. attractive. Attentive. <laughs> I am your, like you can't just say things that you think, okay? <laughs> Hey, look, I think they're all attractive, okay? Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forced to suck, uh, myself to suck it up. The truth is I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her... Wait, where'd it go? There it is. Uh, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I, I don't know what to do. I, I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but ma please try to do something. Maybe convince her to talk to a therapist. I I've always wanted to try to be better friends with the area. It really hurts me to see this happening. I... I'm gonna hate myself later for admitting that, but really now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. Aww. Helpless, down for the count, and I'm drowning, and I'm so helpless. Okay, Hamilton. Uh. <laughs> so please see if you can uh, if you can do something to help. I, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I, I'll, I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. <laughs> As for Monica, I, I, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just just wants us to ignore it. I'm so I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Aww. That's actually- that's super sweet. Oh, shit. Uh, I changed my mind. Where'd her face go? Ignore everything you just read. What the fuck? There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. No! Can you hear me, Jay? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Please just calm down. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica? What the fuck? Just Monica. How many times are they going to say that? Just Monica. Uh, I can't click anything else. Just Monica? Just Monica, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, what the fuck's about to happen? Just Monica. <laughs> Yuri. <coughs> Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. Love everything about it. Jay, I want to take this home. You let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Ahaha. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Jay. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, no, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. Just like Sayori wanted to. Hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take care, good care of it. I'll even touch myself for reading it over and over. What the fuck? I'll get myself paper cups to your skin. Oil enters my bloodstream. Hi. What? Calm down. Make I'm, it, I'm fine. Make it calm down. See, that might be difficult. <laughs> ah, you, you can have my poem, too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're still going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Is that blood? Um. I think it's fair. No, 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 leave me alone. <laughs> Do you like it? I read it for you. In case you can tell, the poem is about... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the, the most part thoughtful person in the club? <sighs> I... I think I'm, I'm going to vomit. Then she was gone. Should I show my poem to next? Monica. Just what a Monica. Day. That's creepy as fuck. That's why I was like, ha, look, look at what we're about to be. It's like this section. <laughs> With all this crazy shit. 
Jay, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Interesting. Why shouldn't... What shouldn't be a problem in itself? But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket. Ah! No, I shouldn't be yelling that loud, probably. <laughs> My parents are gonna bust in. What the fuck are you yelling about? Nothing. Anime girls cutting themselves? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that kind of messed up? Not kind of, it's totally messed up. She even brings a different one to school every day. Like, she has a collection or something. That's fucked. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. Uh, I think it is. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. And you know who gets come kind of high from it? It's depressed people. It might even be like a sexual thing. That's fucked. The point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be, be uh, best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little time, more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Jesus. Anyway, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Yuri should have at least had the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. You know who did? Sayori. Well, whatever. Uh... Makes her happy, it won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here it goes. I'm terrified. Uh oh. Jeez, that really startled me. Um. um uh. Well, I guess I kind of messed up at uh, writing this poem. Uh oh. I was just trying to. Never mind. No, 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 don't just put me back into the room like nothing happened. <laughs> no. I don't know what I was agreeing to, so I said no. Can you hear me? No. I'm checking the file because I feel like this is the perfect time. No, nothing there. What was that laughing? Okay, everyone. I what the fuck was that laugh? I have a theory, but I'm not actually entirely sure. Mm -hmm. It's time to figure out this festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Uh, those ellipses. Ooh, ooh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Oh my god! I was just editing this whenever this originally happened. <laughs> So can we just get this done? No. I'm gonna be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Mm. You, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion, so I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. Yeah. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Jay? Jay is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most so suitable for one person, my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes, please? Like, you would fucking know. Hey, it's cussing now. Finally. I was waiting <laughs> for it. Now this game gets a 10 out of 10. I was just waiting for the cuss words. <laughs> mm hmm. All you care about is now is dragging Jay around with you and your stupid books. You and you and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Jay decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Jay make the choice, okay? It's just gonna be Monica's. Fine. Fine. Jeez. Jay, I, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just. 
Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? <laughs> what? I'm trying to click. I didn't mean to. You didn't click, Monica. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> okay, I'll click, Monica. Please just leave me alone. Yeah, you picked me. Not like I had a choice, you psycho bitch. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair, giving us all the work and then taking Jay for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I don't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Ah, uh, Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Jay away from me every single time you're not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Uh-oh. It'll be beneficial to your mental health. You're, you're, you're scaring me a little. That's okay. Let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend a little time with them. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Jay. Y Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Don't leave me alone with her. <laughs> that ambience in the background. This was in Sayori's house. The bedroom. The music? Yeah. I see. Don't you remember? I don't... I, I think so, yeah. I, this was whenever she was originally telling us about her depression. Just yeah. not so glitch. And there wasn't so much breathing and giggling in it. Or maybe there was. I think the breathing might have been there, but not the giggling. Finally. Finally! It's really all I wanted. Jay, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead, the whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't it sound wonderful? Ah, uh, wow, there's really some, nothing, something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I can imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good... Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I start, tried stopping myself at first, but the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Jay. I have to tell you. I, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Jay, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl aside. Jay, check the game files. Uh, have a nice weekend. It won't let me open it. Uh, so it's actually encrypted with some with a Viginair vi vi cipher or whatever. Yeah. But according to the wiki, it says a uh, window coded. It is uh, uh, it's what is a man without knowing the rich aroma of the future, the hot complex balance of the present, and the bittersweet aftertaste of the past. Oh God. That's what it says. All right. Uh, this is fucked. Like, this keeps getting worse. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Jay. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Cool. No. But I feel like it's going to make me pick no Do either you? way. What turn are you going to pick? No, probably. I like how you can't even save. <laughs> oh, shit, you can't. <laughs> it just won't let you save. No. <laughs> yes? No. Mm. 
I clicked yes, but I'm assuming it made me say no anyway. Ha 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 you said they wouldn't do it to me twice. I said you wouldn't walk in and find someone dead. You just watched him die? That was fucked. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. No. I mean, I'm trying not to like, I'm trying not to, you know, overbearingly laugh like what crazy. What the trying to fuck just, like, is wrong with this thing? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it happened. I uh, can I say again real quick? You're sick. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> this this freaked me out when I saw it. Okay, you're not no, sorry. Just... You 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 want me to do this? You do this to me every single fucking time we play anything. <laughs> I know, but Jay, know that I felt your pain before. No, it doesn't make it feel any better. What are you? How much fucking text am I clicking through for just no reason? I don't know, maybe you should load your fi save file. Do I do that? Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Hmm. So that doesn't help anything. Nope. Gotta just keep clicking. This is terrifying. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this? Alright, what I'd recommend doing is go to settings. Uh, go to, um, uh, skip unseen text. Press that? that. Yeah. And now, return. And just hit, oh, hit the skip button. Oh, did it not work? Wait, go back to settings. Uh, I want to let you skip. I try going to the main menu. Do I save or do I just? Don't worry about saving. <laughs> um. Oh. Nope. Go to settings. Because <laughs> now it's not. Now try hitting skip on scene text again. And then return. Nope, it doesn't work. You have to, Why is it I, working? You have it works to man I think you just have to manually click through Well, this. no, it works on my my version. Well, mine's, I guess, not working right. Try leaving it on and loading the game. Like, don't turn it back off. And loading, I said. I don't know. Oh, load your game? Because it, it, like, it, like, re... Pops. No? Okay, well. You can also spam the enter key if you'd like. Oh, okay. Do to do to do. This is completely and utterly fucked, though. There is a whole whole bunch of text. But nothing. And it's all randomly generated. So it doesn't matter. Like I'm not getting anything out of this. Correct. You know, I'll just spam my freaking mouse is faster than enter. Do you mind? There's no like control. No, control was the one where you skipped through. Yeah, and I'm not sure why it's not working. Cause skip usually, cause like the skip button usually works on my game when I have unseen text enabled. Well, I'm not sure, but I mean we're gonna do it anyway. I I'm so completely and utterly fucked over this. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. I don't think this is crazy. It's just completely and utterly fucked. Why isn't skip working? There's a whole bunch of text here. Uh, the other way to do it... Um, One thing know, that I could do is we could do text speed. I don't think that's going to matter, but we can try. I think that just makes the spam faster. Maybe. However slightly. Hmm. Oh, whenever you right-click, the the thing goes away. 
Yeah. I don't want to see that her being fucking dead in front of me for any better than I already do. So this is just time That's passing. That's the other thing. Yeah, time passing. Because this was a Friday. But now it's already... Now now it's now it's Saturday night, right? It's either Saturday. Cause it, Cause it went night and it was night and it was day, and now wait maybe night. that's what I do. You just like continuously try to. Yep, that that also works. Cause actually how this works is after you progress a certain amount of uh, so now it's uh Saturday night. After you progress a certain amount of uh of time, you're on the save game page. It's fine. Um, then after you like progress through a certain amount of dialogues, then it skips uh, it skips to the next uh, section, and loading also skips to the next segment. Interesting. Look at how much more. Look at how much how dry the blood is now. By the way. Oh shit. Whatever. You'll see in editing. Yeah, the blood dries out over time, and she looks more and more dead over time. Like it changes. Oh, I'm glad that I wasn't was, paying it attention it wasn't to that. Brown. I'm already sick enough. It as was it. like brown. All right, it's festival time. Now you're. Now it's Monday. Dude, they're gonna walk in. What the fuck? You've been here all say? weekend, <laughs> Jay. What are they gonna say? Dude, it's gone. What's gone? Out of the files. Mm-hmm. That's why I told you to look at it. All the stuff is gone. Everything yeah. that was there before. Yeah. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? Yeah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Jay, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Don't look at me like that. What do you want? <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, wait. Were you here the entire weekend, Jay? Oh, jeez. Didn't realize the script is broken that badly. Oh, no. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. Oh, God. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Oh, no. I'm checking the files. There's only Monica in there. Just Monica. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts, Monica the, foil. lifts the foil. Oh, that's you. <laughs> Monica lifts the foil from Natsuki's tray and takes a cupcake. Well, it doesn't say Natsuki. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This is terrifying. This should only take a second. Uh, oh no. Ah, uh, uh, uh. Blood sees. Um, I am. Can you hear me? So she's deleted everyone except for herself. Is it working? Please do. Oh no! Yay, there you are. I'm scared. Hi again, Jay. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um... Are we in the space? <laughs> I am, where the fuck are we? You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. Where the fuck are we? After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Jay. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh-oh. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Oh, fuck. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Wait, shit, what was on the game's download page? Man, you wanna go to, here, I'll go to Steam and we can read it right now. I'll do it. It's not a big deal, don't have to record it. Our game's download page. Hi, Monica here. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit-chat and fun activities with all oh, of my Lord. adorable and unique club members. Sayori, the youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most. Natsuki, the deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. Yuri, the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books. And of course, Monica, the leader of the club. That's me. 
I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone in the literature club become, uh, be, and help the literature club become a more intimate place to, for all my members. But I can already tell you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me, heart? Oh, Lord. And then this game is not suitable for children or those, or those who are easily disturbed. All right. Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? What do you mean I've been screaming at you this whole time? Well, anyway. Even before you gave me any hints, I fucking knew. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just it just drove her to kill herself. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Oh, fuck! Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Oh, lord. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. Yep. I deleted all their files. Yeah, I, I've, been wa I've been watching that, and I, I kind of noticed. <laughs> I was hoping it would be enough for me to try just try and make them as unlikable as possible. Oh, no. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. What the fuck? You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you to not spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. Oh, God. What kind of cool game is this, Jay? You tell me, you psycho bitch. <laughs> Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? Hopefully. It's torture. You're torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Jay. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Hmm. Because no matter how kind how and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. Oh, fuck. In this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Jay. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. Oh god. You're all I need. Mm -hmm. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if that's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world uh, around me started to become more and more gray. Oh fuck. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Jay. God, do I wish I hadn't. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. Oh, thank God you did not You did not do that. I'm glad, I hope you did. I wish you did. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> that sentence was a mess. <laughs> well, to be fair, do you realize what, I, what, what, I'm, what I'm dealing with right now? Yeah, I do. Do you think my brain's able to properly function in this situation? It's fair. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities de designed only to fall in love with you? <sighs> I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. Yeah! I'm only crying a little bit, it's fine. But I realize that you have the same perspective as I do. What perspective? That it's all just some game. Oh god. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Jay, I have a confession to make. Please don't. I'm in love with you. Oh no. You are truly the light in my world. Please stop. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? No, thank you. 
Jay, will you go out with me? <laughs> Do I have to? I mean, we could abandon the series, but... but... No one would watch it if we ended it here. Yes. I'm so happy. I'm not. You really are my everything, Jay. No, 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 no. You don't get to do that. The funny part is I mean that literally. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> There's nothing left here. Whatever you say. Just the two of us. We could be together forever. No, thank you. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Jay. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. What's wrong the with this? The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. Yeah, I saw you typing the fucking commands in. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. Yeah, I looked in that, and it's gone. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Oh, God. <laughs> I love that, because, you know, you can also download this from the Doki Doki website. Like, there's a bunch of other places you can get it, not just Steam. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, imagine if you just with the delete button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. I gotta do this. <laughs> can I delete her? I mean, you can if you want. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. You don't look like it. You're scaring me. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works? Probably not. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? I'm just going to spam different versions of Monica. That's all I can do. Why should she hopping up for any of them? Hi again, Jay. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, Jay. Did you write this poem for me? I really have a That's choice. That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me and by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my all my heart into the poems that I write. Oh, no. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. What about you? That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be the best part of the game. Oh, uh, what? Sorry. Oh, did I get like, something? Best part of the game like everyone else. Okay. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if preferred playing without me. Wait a minute. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Jay? I have so many things to talk about. Let's just where, where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Oh fuck! Um, hi everyone. No way! Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. Oh no! But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Sure. Oh, no. 
Her eyes are scary. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. You gave me. <laughs> did I scare you? <laughs> Why did that actually scare me? <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> anyway, Jay. I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. So this game can, like, sense whenever you're recording it and stuff. Yep. So cool. And, uh, and if you're not recording it, it'll actually tell you, um... So, like, it'll be like, oh, do you, do you actually go by character name? Or do you actually go by... And then it says your Steam name? <laughs> or, um... I'm glad that it isn't doing that. Or your computer name. Or your computer name. Like, if you're not on Steam, it'll say the name of your computer. Or the name of your account on the computer. Oh, okay. um, but it, I'm, I'm guessing the safeguards are they, they put the recording thing instead because they don't want to give away information, you know? If you're streaming it and you don't want to oh, yeah, that's fair. share that. Like, it's just, you know, it's one or the other. Yeah. But it's super cool. <laughs> Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. So here, there is actually... Let me see if I can figure out the exact number, but there's a whole bunch of topics Monica can just randomly talk to you about. You know what I'd just rather do? What? Let's make sure that the, the audience can see my entire screen. I'm really sorry about this, Monica. It's nothing personal. How do you delete it? Would you just press delete? Well, if you, I mean, how do you delete a file? Well, you move it to your recycling bin, right? D then do that. Jay, would you, ever, would you ever introduce your friends to me? No. I don't know why, but I get really excited when I think about you wanting to show off your, our relationship like that. Maybe it's because I really want to be someone who makes you proud. I feel like I would try extra hard to improve myself if you told me it made you, feel, it made, made you proud of me. I hope it's the same the other way around, too. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of tiny conversations like that. I'm going to find the exact number that just randomly pop up. There's a whole bunch of them. Julie. It would take so long to go through them. Peace out, bitch! <laughs> Deleted Monica. What's happening? This is what you get! Jay, what's happening to me? It hurts so much. Help me, Jay. Die in a fire. Please hurry and help me. No. Help me. Did you do this to me, Jay? Yes. Did you? Yes. Did you delete me? And I have no regrets about it. How could you? How could you do this to me? How could you do this to all the other beautiful characters in this game? You were all I had left. And now there's nothing left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Anyway. I should probably make it to so just the game now. Okay. Everything. Absolutely everything. Wow. I loved you so much, Jay. You're a game. I trusted you. Jay, you just want to torture me? Wait, her file's gone. How is she still talking? Watch me suffer. Because she's dying. Were you only pretending to be kind? Just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. No, I didn't. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Hmm. Jay, 
They completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Wait, is that the end of the game? Wait, ellipses. I still love you. What the fuck? I can't help it. What's wrong with me? A lot of things. How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? Yeah, very. All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. Yep. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. Nope. That's... It's like, is she gone now? I've made up my mind. Jay. I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. Holy shit. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm gonna do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... What's she doing? Then... They're back! Not Sayori and Yuri, but Monica's still gone. Now what? I guess we start a new game. And Jay, we should continue in this episode. And this is the last episode, I think. <laughs> It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples of friend group, friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Jay. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of, like... This just reminds me of a feeling from another game we played. It's spoilers if I say what it is. But... Wow. I, I actually don't know what you're talking about. Like, at the end of... The, at the end of the last big, like the last series oh. we finished. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Like whenever, okay, whenever no, yeah, we, I, we heard from a certain character again. That's fair. Like you know, whenever you see a character that you haven't yeah. seen in so long. Yeah. Like it's just like that nice euphoric feeling of oh my gosh, the, they're, they're here. The character we've compared this character to. <laughs> Shh, AJ. Shh, it's fine. Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor, and good friends since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we've picked up that habit once again. And Jay, are you proud of me? Eh? For what? You know, for waking up on time. <laughs> well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. <laughs> even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we crossed the street together and made our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Jay, have you decided on, on a club to join yet? A club? I, I told you already, I'm really not... I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But sometimes t something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how can I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah. You can decide on a club. R really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. I missed this. I missed this character. It's a nice feel-good character. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find that out soon. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. 
school days are as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gather my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. One across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I regularly visit, being generally used for third-year classes as an activity. Before long, I find the room. I tidily open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah. Jay. What are, you, what are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh? I glanced around the room. Hmm. Huh? So you're the Jay that Sarah's always talking about? So thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Jay. We're the Literature Club. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're, we're really strict or something. Ah. Uh, Sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems to be like this assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. Look forward to working with you. W working? Jay, don't, don't tell me. You're... That's right. Club outside of Jordan's yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. Ah. Sayori so wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori's happy, then I'm sure it wouldn't be special to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I, d I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a grab to tray, and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh, ah! No, Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes that create to look like little cats. I miss these cupcakes! I still want cu these cupcakes so bad. Yeah. The whiskers oh are drawn gosh. on with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute. They they taste better than they look. That's why I say to customers at work. Wow, this look amazing. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry up and take one. Sorry grabs one first and I follow up. It's delicious. Sorry walks with her mouth full and has oh, already managed to get wicked. icing on her face. <laughs> Turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki's waiting on me. I can't help but notice her sinking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thanks, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. But Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before settling down the teapot next. Setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> I already tried to impress when you remember, Yuri. Eh, th that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might be a, not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Jay, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. I know the commentary at this point is just not there, <laughs> but I'm honestly just, like, I'm happy. Yeah, no, that's I, that's, I think that's important. And my brain just, like, it needs a second after that entire fucking whirlwind. Oh, yeah. Manga. <laughs> I mu mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly pricks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. No, no, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship beyond them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a foreign world in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her lights up, her eyes light up that she finds her co comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read so much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Well, he, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. 
Hasuki tends to read Monica in the classroom. Don't just say it, ah. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Science. Manga is literature too, you know. So if Jay wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree yet, Jay? Maybe. I like how, like, they're just so much more open. They're so much more, like... Yeah, they're, they're like, they're not <laughs> nervous anymore. Uh... Because Monica's not there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, it's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Mm-hmm. Ellipses. I, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right, as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking pack, a new novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. What am I doing it if I'm not the only one? Then, as for Yuri... Eh? I, I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should look a little more open-minded. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Agreed. Hurtful? I didn't realize... The guilty expression Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Nasuki. Aww. Aww. Character <laughs> growth has occurred. Ah. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error, so if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean... It makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J j just, just, just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so. Yeah, me too. Aww. This is so cute! <laughs> they're not in love with me anymore, they're in same, love with same. each other. Well, Monica's not here. <laughs> the lesbians are As okay. But no, the thing was that Monica was homophobic, and that's why they all went for me. Yep. And <laughs> <laughs> so, so you already, shut up. I'll show you some manga there, too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Jay. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around Sayori. Ah, Jay. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Oh. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Jay. I really want to thank you. Oh, Lord. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you're going to. <laughs> Wait. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no. That's right. I know everything that you did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Jay. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all of the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. No, 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 no. F. <laughs> Oh, her. No. <gasps> Monica! Eh? Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who. It hurts. Uh. The file. No, 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 no. I did not mean to pull up Google right there. I was just trying to get the file up. She's gone. 
Wait, no, Sayori's still there. Uh. I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Jay. Goodbye, Literature, literature Club. What the fuck was that? Can you hear me? Um... Who's... Who is this? OH SHIT! No way! Monica! She's sitting down in a thing to the left, it sounds like. I like- I love that panning. Oh my god, she's gonna play the song. Playing audio. Holy shit! I ain't holy shit! Dang. I can be with you. That's so cool. Dude, that's so cool! Oh my god! Iron! What? <laughs> I love this song so much. Holy shit! Special day. Look at this game. Will it take just to find that special day? Monica wrote the song. Oh, I love it so much. Bum 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 ba da dum ba da ba 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 ba. That's the end of the game. Dan Salvato. He did pick all of the game design. <laughs> oh my god. And also, um, the gray ones are the scenes that you haven't seen yet. So technically, you could unlock a bunch more scenes. Yep. But also, um, Monica's deleting all of the pictures. That's so cool. Ian. Yeah. Wow. He also, he also wrote the whole game, by the way, <laughs> Denzel. By himself? <laughs> I guess so. Wow. <clears throat> He also wrote the music. <laughs> he did pretty much everything by himself. I know, this man's crazy. I love him. Vocals by Jillian Ashcraft. There was another Sayori scene I could have seen. Sayori. That was a Yuri. I, I don't know if I said Sayori or Lee by accident, but I meant Yuri. Special so thanks to Masha no, yeah. and Kagafumi. Howie Mandel's Little Monsters. Sorry. That was. <laughs> I love. That game was incredible. Wow. It's so good. Ian, that was insane. I bet you'll listen to this song again. <laughs> yeah, of course I will, and I'm gonna learn it on piano. Special thanks, Monica J. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Made with Love by Team Salvato, which is pretty much just Dan Salvato. Yeah. <laughs> this is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is a truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all of the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Holy shit. <laughs> yep. Also, check the game files. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> check the game files. What do you mean check them? Is there something new there? Um, well it deleted a whole bunch of shit. Yep. I'm not sure what's in there. Yep, it's pretty much deleted. 
a bunch of things. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Go ahead and hit OK. OK. Holy shit, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, all you valid people out there. That was a... That was Doki Doki Literature Club. That was fucked. I love that game so much, because it's horrifying, but like... Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, that was... That was a lot. Yeah. Holy shit. It's another series we finished. I feel so emotional after every series we finish. Even though we've been doing this just like for like one month, less than a month. Yeah, but it just, it feels so good to finish the series, you know? Oh yeah. Like that sense of, I finished and it's all edited and put out on the internet. It's not all edited yet, but it's going to be edited pretty fast. And so it's going to yeah. go up for, on the internet for all you beautiful people to enjoy. Yeah, and then uh, we're one step closer to Danganronpa. Oh, God. I'm just... That game it was completely my, and utterly, like, fucking me up. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Every day I imagine a future oh, where yeah, yeah, I can be with you. you. That song's called Your Reality, by the way. I'll check that out for sure after we're done. But, um... In my head, it's a pen and a rap. Okay, wait. I'm just, like, that was a lot. That emotionally and everything, I'm just like, wow. I'm just, I don't think I have any last thoughts. Just thank you guys for sticking through this. This is a fun little series, and um, I'm glad you played the game, Jay. I think this is one of those games that you need to play. I know you guys enjoyed my suffering, just like I always does. So, uh, thanks for like that. Like it's a it's a much play series, like a must play series. It's like a very, you know. That was a lot. Um, I don't think that I have much else to say. <laughs> I think there's well, a lot of unspokenness um, in that. Danganronpa will will Danganronpa two will start not next week but the week after that right yeah um because yeah I mean the game's short enough we're gonna they're gonna play another game but it's gonna be just three videos uh, and it's gonna be next week um and we're starting we're doing five days a stranger oh yeah you told me about this one yeah which I'm super excited for because it's one of my favorite game series of all time and there's just a uh, four game four four and a half games. In, in it, and we're just going to be doing them small games between the Danganronpas next to another game that's of medium length. So like, so like how we did Doki Doki, which was nine videos, you know, and then Five Days Strangers was like three. Like all the all of these games are probably going to be like three videos, maybe a little longer near the end um, of, of of the series. Yeah. But yeah, we can just throw them in between the Danganronpas, and that's our plan. Okay. Um, yeah. Five Days of Stranger is gonna be next, so it's tune in for that on Tuesday. Because this this was divisible by three, meaning that it ended on a Saturday, which is nice. Love when that happens. I guess it's time to roll an outro. Yeah. Last time we'll be saying it for Doki Doki Literature Club. I don't know why it makes me so emotional whenever we finish things. It's just like, it's a it's a good emotional though. Yeah, it's good. I mean, like, you know, we have a channel where all of these series will be preserved forever, so it's like, that's our trophy wall, you know, every game we've completed. I mean, think about, like, 30 years, or, like, even 10 years in the future looking back on this. I know, right? Like, wow. I'll be 26. <laughs> in 10 years? Yeah. I'll be 30. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'll be 26 in 10 years. <laughs> Hopefully I have uh, some type of relationship. Huh. You know? That'd be nice. Bit of a hopeless romantic vibe, but... I don't know. I, I, I shouldn't be thinking about the future right now. Um, thank you guys very much. Thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, please yeah. leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Comment down below. Tell us what you thought. Subscribe. Post notifications if you want to see what we're doing next. Um, uh, join the Discord. We have some beautiful people in there. And, um... Follow the Twitter, because eventually I'll use you say. Yeah? 
We appreciate you guys right. so much more than you'll ever know. Have a great day, night, whatever time it is for you. And we love you very much. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.